America before and during the Civil War, there was a fight to end slavery. Known as abolitionists, leaders put their life on the line. Far before the beginnings of America, human rights were put into place which were universal for every person in every society. Born as a slave, I was not on my rights. I wasn't even considered human. Hey! What'd I say? Get back to work, boy! Yes, master! <laughs> this slave was known as... I'll be so glad when the oh, well. sun goes down when the sun sold into slavery at eight years old. And when his master wasn't looking, he learned to read and write. Master, master, there's a slave escaping. Oh, not in my house. Best friend, playhouse. Psst. Hey, hey, Frederick. Yes? Did you know that unlike the South, the Northern states are free of slavery? Really? Yeah. They don't even have plantations. Man, I think I got an idea. Two hours later. Hey, Master, I gotta tell you something. What, boy? Ah! <clears throat> so, Frederick Douglass escaped to Massachusetts, where he joined an abolitionist movement. By sharing his life experiences, he gained national attention and became one of the leading abolitionists. While most leaders led a non-violent path, John Brown led a violent rebellion at Harper's Ferry. These men are all talk! We need action! Unfortunately, this did not work out for John Brown the way he intended. He ended up getting convicted with treason and sent to death. So, although he did gain national attention and put fear in the hearts of the South. Oh, oh yeah, Frederick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Frederick. <laughs> in America, before and during the Civil War. Okay, you so Frederick Douglass, Douglass, did you hear that? This was his biggest and first step in this book. I don't know. That's all, folks.